Stan Jebelisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I'm going to show you the noise canceling antenna scheme that I used to receive very low frequency signals. Uh, as I have described in a recent video using my Drake radios as a VLF converter, VLF meaning roughly 3 to 30 kilohertz but useful range of only about 10 to 30 kilohertz because of human made noise below 10 kilohertz. At the time I did this uh, all frequencies below 9 kilohertz were not allocated meaning they were free for anybody to do anything they wanted with within reason whatever that was. And I suppose that included a 1 watt tube type 8 kilohertz transmitter. But in any case, this signal antenna was a 20 meter quarter wave vertical antenna on the roof of my parents house in the 1970s with a whole bunch of radials laid down on the roof. Um, made out of steel conduit that thing withstood a thunderstorm with wind gusts well over 100 miles an hour and didn't even move didn't even phase it and I was really surprised when I plugged this thing into the microphone jack of my T4X transmitter put it in spot on AM mode discovered that the AM mode has no audio filter in it so it could uh, convert signals all the way up to 60 or 70 kilohertz to low and very low frequencies as sidebands to an AM signal in the spot mode. This is the Drake T4X. Then tuning away from the main carrier I could receive the sidebands with the Drake R4A. But below about, oh especially below about 10 kilohertz dirty electricity just overwhelmed the spectrum with noise and even up to 30 or 40 kilohertz it was a major interfering factor so I thought well why not try to cancel out that noise with an antenna quote unquote just lying on the floor running around in the hallways in the house to pick up some of that dirty electricity and feed it back out of phase with the noise picked up by the signal antenna. And the wavelengths at those frequencies were so long that for all intents and purposes the signal antenna and the noise antenna were located in the same place. So the uh, waves using this noise balance switch would be either in phase coincidence or phase opposition to the noise coming in from the antenna. It would either add to it or take away from it. And with a potentiometer to adjust the intensity of this noise and to make sure that this noise was more than this noise, I was able to balance them out just by picking the right switch position, which was a matter of chance. There were only two of them. Adjusting the balance, and I, uh, to my amazement, discovered a deep null in the noise at a particular setting of 20 to 30 db which made it possible to hear a lot of signals I could not otherwise hear although the lowest one I heard was at about 13 kilohertz a signal that resembled something uh, similar to what we call WSJT mode today and very probably was some kind of synchronous mode but if you do have a VLF converter or, and uh, live in an urban area or anywhere where there are electrical lines and you have this problem, check this scheme out. Two center tapped audio transformers, not so easy to find anymore, but you can wind your own using pot cores and ordinary enameled copper wire. Or you can go to Mauser or Jameco Electronics and search for the parts. And you'll find them. It doesn't really matter what the impedance transfer ratios are. Uh, what really matters is that you get the noise at the same amplitude from the noise antenna as it comes from the signal antenna. 
and that you get them in opposite phase. And of course, the noise antenna isn't very good at picking up signals, whereas the signal antenna is designed for that very purpose. Thus, you get a lot of signal and a great deal less noise if you just do a little tweaking and try this scheme. I was flabbergasted when I discovered how much it helped on the VLF bands with my makeshift VLF converter. I was only like, what, 17 years old when I did this? What's happened to this gray matter between my ears? Why don't I think of stuff like this anymore? Stangibilisco? Well, I do. I'm just too lazy to do it. <laughs> At least not tonight. Stangibilisco. Fuddy-duddy troglodyte. Amateur radio call sign W1GV saying 73, which means best regards. And so long, which, especially on VLF, can mean nothing other than da 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 